When the drudgery of life in the city gets you down, only thing can offer it any comfort is a steaming cup of joe. I'm looking to get it and go, so I head in. But which gas station is trying to bilk my paycheck and serve me crap, and which place has the good stuff on deck? Don't worry, you boys on the case. Let's hit the bricks. So I looked up coffee reviews and didn't find much worth seeing. Turns out the age-old method is called cupping. Which just sounds dirty. But that's well beyond my means. I'm aiming to get it and go straight home to sulk in the privacy of my own home. Looks like rustling up the best cup is going to be harder than I thought. never trust a woman who comes out of the woodwork, especially one who's that good looking. Back to square one. For this review, I drank coffee from gas stations all over town. To keep things fair, I took every cup black with no fixings. I always went for the house blend, if they're out of that. I went for the 100% Colombian. I've decided the best way to go about this is to do a head-to-head -head tasting with five cups from five of the bigger gas station chains in town. How can you have a taste test without my coffee? Well, come in. Here, try this. It'll ruin you for anything. the lineup. Five likely suspects. We're going to find out which one is the best. Chris. Mobile. BP. Apparently they both get their coffee from the same place. The store. Quick trip. First up, Chris. Now when you're smelling coffees, don't be afraid to get your nose like all the way in the cup. has a very odd smell. It doesn't smell very much like coffee. It honestly smells a little bit like french fries. Let's give this one a shot. It's 
very bitter. It doesn't have a very coffee-esque flavor. I'm not certain I like the one from Crest. This one is from Mobile. Ah, this is a good coffee smell. A little chemically. It's got a good smell. I like it. The chemically smell is the strongest, unfortunately. Let's try this one out. It's not as bitter as the Crisp, but I don't know, it's, a, it's an improvement. I like this one better than the Crisp. Now this is a strange one. I got this at a BP, but the cup came from Reeser. With this one I got a breakfast blend because, you know, they're the same company. Um, a breakfast blend is a lighter roast, so it has more caffeine to wake your butt up. This is the best smelling one so far. This one doesn't have much of a chemically smell. I don't know. You can tell it's a lighter roast. It's a little watery compared to the others. It's not as chemically. Next up, the store. All right, this one smells like coffee should smell. It's not chemically. This one does have a nutty undertone, like sort of like a hazelnut, even though I got the house blend. This one's interesting. Believe it or not, I kind of get cheap ramen noodles out of this one. Yeah, I do. It's the shrimp flavor. It's bitter in the middle of the tongue, and it's got a sweet aftertaste. It's definitely got hints of uh, shrimp ramen noodles. All right. And now the fan favorite, Quick Trip. This one has the lightest smell of all of them. It smells just like coffee. There's no undertones. There's nothing crazy. No, kitty, you don't want to drink that. You should be running in circles for 12 hours. This is, um, it's not watery. It's a little lighter than the others, with the exception of the breakfast blend. There's no real bitterness. There's almost like a fake sweetener taste underneath everything. Surprising. I don't like the crisp. It's watered down and fake, so... Crisp is the first in the spit bucket. Now we are on to the Jam and Java from Mobile. I don't like this one either. It's got that really chemically taste spit bucket. Now the breakfast blend. Store Quick Trip. This one has a very chemically taste now that I tried the others. This is a decent cup. It's got the chemically thing so this one is too processed i have to go with a quick trip house blend as the winner this case was a tough nut to crack got knives in my eyes but i just drank six cups of coffee so sleep may not come so easy oh well another day another case